Good morning. This is Nita and Miss Panda in the timepiece garden. Um, it's actually over there. I was picking greens. I got to mow the grass, but I wanted to harvest while it was first thing in the morning. And I stopped in garden too, because I saw a huge red strawberry. Where is he? I could see him from outside the fence. And I was like, yes, get it, get it. You can see there's a couple of them in there. And then while I'm in here picking strawberries, my blueberries are just starting to turn. Now, I won't lie, I picked about five of them. They're also in the bag. Um, the rest of those are still blue-green. They're not ready to ripe yet. Um, that one, they're still all green. So, I mean, it's just this bush, and he's just started. So, it's kind of awesome. I'm going to have blueberries and strawberries for breakfast in the morning. Or maybe for dessert tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Come over here and check this one out. Because while most of these are still green, you see them? There you go, right there on the top. Just just a couple. And they're ready. Come here. He's like, no, I don't want to be picked. Just a couple. Yep, and that's the only two that are ready off of this one. And it looks like there might be one or two ready off of this one. I love it. So yeah, next couple of days, since they've just started, these bad boys are gonna be popping. All right. Let me take these in the house and get to mowing. Because it's a little too tall. All right. Talk to you in a few. All right. So the supervisor is edging for me right there because she's telling me I didn't mow. Well, you know, I didn't edge there. <sighs> Beyond that, pain in the ass to have to mow all the time. Having said that, it looks awesome when it's done. Do you know? And she's just, you know, being like, Mom, you didn't mow here. You didn't mow here. Hang on. Sorry about that. I had a phone call come through. Anyway, the grass is mowed. It looks awesome. We're filling the panda pool. Now, she's already played in the hose with me. But I've got some other stuff I want to get done. So, um, keeping the pool full of fresh water because it was full of grass. Helps her out while she's hanging out with me outside. Um, nine o'clock it's still cool enough in the shade to get some stuff done so I'm gonna keep working do what I do you know all right I will talk to you in a few so this is my fig and this branch here was on him when um when I planted him um, these branches here there's three of them Makes sense. These two here are both brand new. And that's the one that part of it broke off. And you can see he's got a little, a couple little starts going on him. So I'm going to tell you, he's taken the transplant really well. Being that he's given me four, four new branches. So maybe I'll have some figs this year. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so far he likes his location. So, all right, let's go check some others. <coughs> all right, wasp, well, go away. All right, it's my rose of sharing. Planted the same time the fig was. I'm still doing really well. Hasn't really taken off in a growth spurt, but um, he's got all these baby leaves on him, you know? So to, to have all this baby leaf growth, and I'm talking every branch has them, um, means he also has taken his uh his transplant well which is a good thing yay so now y'all know i think i've i think i've said it in videos before daylilies are edible yum yum you know take it off to the green here have it as a snack put it in your salad just awesomeness all right Let's go check the pop-up. 
All righty. That right there is my baby papa. And he's got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe seven leaves on him, which is awesome. You know? He's like, yeah, I got this. Liking its spot. Now, he is an under tree or an undergrowth tree. You put him under a hickory like this or under an oak, and he will live life large and love it. Just, that's what pawpaws do. They're, they're an undergrowth, kind of like an elderberry. They don't want to be the top tree. <sighs> this is one of those wild roses. Um, I might actually get rose hips off of it this year. Sweet. All right, I'll walk over here real quick to the other pawpaw. See, Panda's already there. She's like, whatever, Mom is there. So this is my other papa. And I was worried about him for a long time because I didn't see anything. And I've got one leaf. I'm so very careful with him. I don't want to pull him or break him or, you know, what does that one leaf mean? That one leaf means he's growing. That he's accepted the spot he's in. Look out, Panda. Look out, Grovrian. He's accepted it. You know, he's got a leaf. He's made it through winter, so life is awesome. I just have to be careful with him. So I do check on him. Um, yeah, this poor stump. This poor stump has given in the ghost. It was one of my fairy stumps, and you can see where even the even the windows aren't aren't just the stump is rotten. You know, and I knew that was going to happen. He was cute for a while. He's not cute anymore, but the door is still there. It's all good. Pretty soon this will be home of the papa. And this stump just becomes part of that hygge culture that will feed that papa. All right. Yeah, all the wildfires and blooms. I got Queen's Anne lace. I got the uh, Black Eyed Seasons. You know, just, you name it. It's, if it's a wildflower, it's in bloom. You know, between the wildflowers and the what is it, the Sahara Desert? I spend too much time outside, I get, hi, Banda Bears! I get sneezing, you know. It's all good. All right. Um, having said that, I've got some stuff I want to pot up because it's not ready to go into the garden. And why it's still cool enough, I'll be up on the porch there potting it up. So, Miss Panda and I, oh, she went and laid down in the Panda pool. She a little wet. Anyway, we will talk to you later.